In this video, we're going to show you how to enable P2P for remote viewing on your NVR or DVR. First, we're going to right-click, go to Main Menu, down here under the Management and Network Settings. Then we're going to go to the P2P tab. Now, notice we've already got DHCP set up on our NVR, and we already have an IP address from our router. So, we're going to come down here to the P2P tab. We're going to see that it's disabled here, and we want to make sure that this is enabled. So, we're going to enable it click apply now we're gonna go ahead and click back and go back into network into P2P again and we're gonna to want to make sure that this status says that it's online this will allow us to scan the device serial number here into our cell phone app to get up and running with a remote viewing in no time in this part of the video I'm gonna show you how to add your system to the app you can download the app called DMSS from the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. I already have it downloaded on my iPhone. And when you first open the app, you may be prompted for some information. You can either skip through that information or set it up. I chose to not set up an account. So I'm going on the home page. If you're not already on the home page, you're going to want to tap the home icon at the bottom left of the app. And then to add the system, we're going to tap the plus icon at the top right hand side of the app. We're going to use the SN slash scan option to scan the QR code on our NVRs or DVRs P2P page or the QR code on the top of our record. So I'm going to tap that plus icon and then select the SN slash scan option. And then I'm going to scan the code from my NVRs screen. It may take a second, depending on the brightness of your camera and the QR code. To get that. Now I'm going to actually back out and show that I can also scan the QR code on the top of my NVR. That was a little quicker than scanning the code from the screen. Now that I have my device serial number entered, which by the way you can also manually enter, we can click the next button or tap the next button. It's going to actually load up a device selection screen. This particular device I'm adding is an NVR. Make sure that you select the correct device when you are adding your device. If you have a DVR or XVR, you will want to select that option. So, like I mentioned, I'm adding an NVR, so I'm going to tap the NVR option. It's going to automatically fill in the serial number or the P2P code for my system. I'm going to name it my NVR. And then you're going to want to type in your admin password. That admin password can be found next to the P2P QR code on the top of your recorder. I've typed that password in, and then I'm going to tap the Save button at the top right-hand side to save the system to the phone. It's going to connect to my system over the internet and pull up the camera streams from my system. Hopefully this video helps you access your system remotely Thank you for watching.